Hi, in this video I'm going to explain you how to create our first APC dispatcher script. To illustrate how to script a new AI cargo dispatcher for APCs, I am starting here from a blank mission. Now let me walk you through the script first so I can show you which objects you need to create to create the dispatcher and then we will create in this mission the relevant objects in the mission. So this is the AI Cargo uh, Dispatcher APC object. It has a new method which takes four parameters. A set of APCs which is a set group object, a set of cargo infantry or just cargo which is a set cargo object. Then a optional set of uh, zones in a set zone object, but you can pass nil here to say that, you know, pickup zones are not being used. And a set of deploy zones to where the cargo objects need to be transported by the APCs. I assume you are all familiar with the sets but I'm going to walk you through each of the different set types so we understand exactly what this script is doing. The first set that is required in the new method is the set group, which filters. <clears throat> so in here you need to have all the groups that will uh, start transporting the cargo over the battlefield. And for this, I am using the filter prefixes method to filter all of the groups that have APC in the name. And I'm starting the filter dynamically. The same for cargo. I am filtering cargo that is being set up within the mission and filtering the types infantry. So only cargo with the type infantry will be included in this set. Set zones same thing but here i'm going to filter all the zones that have the word deploy in the name these things are created dynamically when the mission starts and are provided as a parameter in the new method of the ai cargo dispatcher apc and an object ai cargo dispatcher apc is created that you can then start up using the start method okay so that's the script so remember the following the type of cargo needs to be infantry. The name of groups that transport the cargo need to have APC in it. And the zones need to have the word deploy in it. So let me set up this first small demonstration. First I'm going to create a infantry cargo object. There's a special naming convention that needs to be followed within the mission script. So this first infantry is the name of the cargo and then you can use a hash mark cargo in capital letters without space brackets t equals and then what follows is the type name remember that we are filtering on infantry as a type so t equals is the type name that you can use to identify the type of the cargo then comma and then without space rr equals this is the reporting range on which in meters the cargo is reporting towards the APC. In other words, if an APC is within range, meaning within 150 meters from the cargo object, then that cargo will be automatically boarding. I'm going to start from one here and I'm going to create this cargo on the battlefield. Of course, I want to have not just one soldier in my cargo but a couple so I'm just expanding a bit the cargo group so now that I've grouped my cargo and they are deployed on the battlefield how can I create an APC object that I'm going to position at a certain location for example here let me change the name quickly APC 001 and that's going to be for example an AAV7 
last remaining thing that I need to do is I need to set up a deploy zone. And I'm going to use a simple trigger zone for this occasion. Let me create a simple one somewhere here. That should be fine. The size doesn't really matter, so I'm making a 100 meter wide deploy zone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to name this deploy A. So now this should be sufficient to create a working APC cargo dispatcher. Let us test. So the mission has started. I am zooming in and showing the path of the APC. And as you can see, automatically the APC will drive towards the cargo and the APC will be within 150 meters from the cargo, so the cargo will board automatically. And automatically, the APC will then drive towards the deployment zone, which was set up here. I'm going to speed up time a bit. Voila. And now the cargo is being unboarded in the battlefield. Here it is. Okay. So that was a very simple example. Now we're going to make it a bit more complicated. Just notice the fact that I'm setting this up without any extra coding. So this is all dynamic. I'm going to make some more cargo objects here. Spread out around the battlefield. There you go. And I'm going to create a couple of additional APCs, like five of them would be okay. Now let's play again. The mission has started again. And now you can see this APC has already started. The other one is starting automatically. Number two. Number three. And what you get here is a dynamic transportation mechanism. Speeding up a bit. And you see the cargo moving towards the deployment zone here automatically. There is no programming required to make this cycle work. And isn't that quite of a boarding scene here that we have? Look here. Right? So, it isn't finished still more. So let's see what these guys are doing. Speeding up a bit again. The process and all of the APCs drive back to pick up new cargo. You'll notice that the APCs are driving towards cargo that is not really, um, how could I say, not really picked up yet, so that is still free to be picked up. So it's selecting the cargo in an efficient manner. And now you see, because there are only two cargo groups left, that the APCs are driving to the remaining cargo to be picked up and are being taken for deployment. Right, very interesting. The last parameter in the APC that makes a lot of value in this discussion here, in this demonstration, is the deployment zones itself. And for this now, I'm going to create a couple new deployment zones to illustrate the randomness of the transportation that you can achieve. So I'll create a few here very quickly. 
B 100 and I'll skip this a bit until I'm at the so now I've got my deployment so it's set up here 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 and here and the APCs will pick up the cargo and will drive following the routes on the roads to the deployment zone drop off the cargo and pick up the new ones so let's have a look how this is working in action speeding up a bit of time and you'll, you'll notice that the APCs are driving towards various locations within the battlefield. See? And the engine is working correctly. It takes a bit more time to get everything deployed, but you'll get the picture. And you can try this yourself, really. Um, so the APCs will drive to random deployment zones, deploy the cargo, and once finished they will stop. So let's have a look at what are these APCs and how much cargo they can take. And for this we go to the encyclopedia. So here, when you look at the AV-7, you see that it has a crew cargo load capability of three people and 25 soldiers which is kind of a massive machine I guess in real life this thing so that means that when you select in a vehicle type you get also a load capacity with it for example an APC M113 has less load capability than an AAV7 and some have even zero. You can also use trucks, yeah? So like, it doesn't have to be armed vehicles. You can use a truck, like an, uh, what is it here? A transport, M818. And another thing you can do is, <clears throat> you can add multiple vehicles within the same group. And that as a result will mean that more cargo will be loaded in one go from one place on the spot where the cargo is being loaded. So let's have a look on this one. I'm going to put in some more infantry here in this area in here. All right, let's play. So now you see these APCs here driving towards the area here and uh, let's have a look how those are loading the cargo then. Let me speed up a bit. See quite a lot of soldiers here. The APCs are driving within the vicinity and soldiers will be boarding once arrived. You see the APC is taking a massive amount of soldiers in one go and once they're boarded the APC groups will depart. Towards the deployment zone which as we remember is a random zone being selected. Which I guess will be here.
So by using APC groups or trucks, groups of trucks, you can quickly move um, infantry over a simulation environment over the road quite, you know, fast, I wouldn't say, but like enormous loads of, of infantry can be transported quite quickly. Let's have a look again to the deployment zone, what's happening then in that area once the truck arrives. So you see three trucks arriving here and if you got three trucks and there are only a few infantry to be loaded then they will only be loaded in the first truck. The infantry is loaded by a group so that means that um, if you got more you know if you got more infantry um, to be loaded in a group then the APC can 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 carry then that group won't be loaded but will be loaded the next time so always ensure that the grouping of your infantry is small enough so that the APC can load the infantry so I hope you like this discussion and, and this demonstration this is the first script let me, let me quickly show you back the script here so this is it right so have a careful look here I'll position it large enough so you can have a quick look it isn't a rocket science is it you can cut and paste the script and you can find this in the demonstration mission AID CGO 100 APC pickup and deploy for your last reference I'm having here the new Moose Framework documentation that will be released very soon so you can go to the Moose developers guide Moose tasking classes no not tasking what am I saying cargo classes and this is the AI cargo dispatcher which is the base class for all the AI cargo dispatcher classes and you can click on the AI cargo dispatcher APC so you got here a small information the same picture there's an icon and you got here then the detailed documentation that you can just use to model your dispatcher so I hope you liked this video and see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.